Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for further notifications on new and upcoming videos. Okay. So today I'm talking about drop shot fishing. That's bass fishing, guys. Okay, very important. I'm just gonna quickly go through a couple of the items that we require for drop shot fishing. How we rig it, um, there are two ways. And we join it with a Palama knot. I'm just gonna give a small little swivel. And there I'm using a size eight power swivel. So there we go, size eight power swivel. So we grab one out of the packaging. And as you can see, it's a very small swivel. Everything here with drop shot is done very light, lightweight. Okay, so we're gonna take our braid, we're gonna double it, like so. Gonna take our size eight power swivel and go through. And all we're going to do is tie an overhand granny knot. There we go. And don't forget, if you want to see a slower version of this or another way of tying it, don't forget, at the bottom is our little um, link to tying knots. So you can just click on that and it will show you how to tie the Palama knot. Okay, so take my fingers, I go through the loop. Grab the actual swivel, pull tight. There we go. That is the Palama knot finished. All I'm gonna do now is cut off the little tag end. So all I'm gonna do now is just cut off the tag end. Nice and close and neatly. So there is my swivel tied. The next step is to take about a meter of fluorocarbon. There's different fluorocarbons available. We've got our Kingfisher um, brands that are very very nice on the 10 pound I'm gonna be tying about a 6 kilo or 15 pound fluorocarbon uh, leader you can go lighter this is very heavy but I'm gonna be doing it so that you can actually see the knots and how we tie it that's why I'm using heavier fluorocarbon but anything from 15 pound all the way down to 5 pound we use for drop shot fishing okay I'm going to use the pink one so you can actually see it on the white background, hopefully, yeah. Okay. These Kingfisher fluorocarbons come in little pony spools which make it ideal for drop shot fishing. It fits into any of your little tackle bags. Drop shot fishing is done very light, so small little container, little bag and you're good to go. Okay, so I'll take about a meter of it. Just snip it off, leave it down there. Okay, to join it to the swivel, all we tie is a figure of eight. And don't forget, link at the bottom will show you how to tie the figure of eight on. So all I'm gonna do, again, put my glasses on because I'm going off blind these days. Okay, so all I do, take the point of the actual line through the eye of the hook and I tie a figure of eight. So, there we go. One, two, three. There it is. There's the figure of eight. A little bit of lubrication there. Slide the knot down, very important. Pull tight. Cut off the tag in. Now you ask why use a swivel and not a PR or an FG knot? Basically, when your lure comes up and you're winding it up from a depth, it could rotate. So the swivel basically stops any of that rotation. Okay. So about 30 to 40 centimeters away, which is about that length, we're going to double our line. But first, let's grab a hook. There's two hooks that we use for drop shot fishing. This is our mustard wide gape. Red hook for drop shot over there. That's the one hook that we use. And we also use the mega bite. 
and this is a size 4. You get it in a size 6 and that, so they are very small hooks. First one I'm going to use is obviously the wide gape, the red one. And I'm just going to double my line over there, like so. We're going to go through the eye of the hook and we're tying a Palama knot. Okay. And again, all we do with the Palama knot is tie overhand granny knot, like so. Pinch it, take your fingers through, grab your hook, and just pull it slowly until the actual knot seats down, pull the tag in, okay, I'm just going to wind this up quickly, okay, <clears throat> now what we do, as you can see over there, to keep that hook standing out straight, we take the tag end, I'm just going to change it around so you can see, we're going to take the tag end and we're going to go back through the eye of the hook. Okay, then we just take our hook and we move it out so it stands out 90 degrees to the line. So that's basically what we're trying to achieve. We then take a sw uh, sinker <clears throat> and these are drop shot sinkers, guys. Over there, they come with a little swivel on it. And the reason they have that particular swivel is that you can go through the eye, like, like so, and then you just pull it. There's no knot involved in it. The reason they use that swivel for this drop shot is if you get stuck in any structure and you pull hard, the swivel comes off. Well, the nylon will come out through the eye of the actual uh, nylon. You see that there? The line actually pulls through. You do it again. You go through it. And if you get stuck and you pull, basically it comes off. Okay. No knots involved in the drop shot sinker. Uh, two different st styles. One is round. One is very thin. The thin one is for designed for fishing in thick vegetation. In other words, grass, stuff like that where it's very thick. The round one is more for fishing around rocks. Rocky structure. Okay. So let's do it again. Let's just put it through. And just pull it tight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pull it tight. Okay. So that is basically the rig all tied up. Okay, so there's the rig all tied. Now what we're going to do is take one of our little reaction lures that we sell here at Kingfisher. <coughs> Anyone, uh, take a blue one. And to actually put it on is as simple as taking the hook through the top and straight out and there it is there there's the soft plastic on in the water it becomes neutral so it'll move around the little tail will vibrate you stand on your boat there, you look at your fish finder, you see where your fish is, you drop it down. When it hits the bottom, all you do is you just shake it around. That's all you do. Okay, so you shake it around. And that little fish vibrates there. So that is a very simple way of doing it. If I was using a worm, for instance, here's another version. 
I'll just take one of my reaction worms out there. And we rig it wacky style. Wacky style means you just basically go straight through the center of it, like that. That is wacky style. And you just shake it around, it moves, it vibrates. It's as easy as that, guys. So there's a very simple way of doing it. And that's it. You move it, you vibrate it, eventually the bash will come and you're okay. Guys, don't forget, all this tackle is available at leading tackle stores nationwide, as well as, as, well as any of our Kingfisher branches. All these uh, rods, fluorocarbons, hooks, lures are available at any of our leading tackle stores nationwide.